Hello, my name is Carla Ziegler and I'm going to solve the following problem for you. Given the atomic radius of argon, which is zero point zero nine seven nanometers, and knowing that a sphere has a volume of four third p r to the power of three. Calculate the fraction of space that argon atoms occupy in a sample of neon at STP. So STP means standard conditions for temperature and pressure. These allow a comparison to be made between different sets of data. So the standard conditions are for temperature, 275.15 Kelvin, and for pressure, 1 atmosphere. So to solve this problem, you need to know a little bit about the properties of gases. To explain the macroscopic properties of a gas, such as its pressure and temperature, in terms of the behavior of the molecules that make it up, we encounter an immediate problem. All gases are different and therefore have different properties. Experiments have found though that if one mole of various gases are contained in boxes of identical volume so, and are held at the same temperature, so, Two. The measured pressures are nearly the same. So P1 equals 2. If the measurements are repeated at lower gas densities, the small differences in the measured pressures tend to disappear. This allows us to assume that at low enough densities, all real gases tend to obey the relation P multiplied by V equals N multiplied by R multiplied by T. So P is the absolute pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles of the gas, T is the temperature, and R is the gas constant. It has the same value for all gases. So R equals 8.5. 314 joule per mole per Kelvin. This equation is called the ideal gas law. It holds for any single gas or mix mixture of different gases. You probably now ask yourself what is an ideal gas and what is so ideal about it. The term ideal gas refers to a hypothetical gas composed of molecules which do not attract or repel each other and don't take up any volume. The ideal gas law is a simplified equation of state. So in the ideal gas concept, we look at a theoretical gas composed of many randomly moving point particles whose only interaction is perfectly elastic collision. This concept of an ideal gas as an approximation helps us model and predict the behavior of real gases. However, the ideal gas model tends to fail at lower temperatures or higher pressures when intermolecular forces and molecular sizes become important. In these cases, we need a modification of the ideal gas law that takes molecular size and interaction into account. This law was proposed by Johannes van der Waals in 1873 and is called the van der Waals equation of state. So A and B are the van der Waals constants. They have different values for each gas. B takes the volume of each molecule into account. The gas molecules can't move in the total volume occupied by the gas but only in parts of it. The volume that the molecules are actually able to move in 
is the total volume subtracted by the own volume. This increases the total pressure of a gas more than previously assumed. The constant A takes the intermolecular interaction between the gas molecules into account. So these forces decrease the pressure against the walls of the container because the molecules close to the walls are subjected to the attraction of the other molecules. Alright, let's get to the assignment. So, at STP, and assuming that the volume of the gas molecules can be neglected, one mole of any gas has a volume of 22.4 meters. The number of neon atoms in this volume is equal to the Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power of 23. This is something we can assume because we have standard conditions, as stated in the exercise. The first thing we want to do is to calculate the volume of a argon atom. So we take the volume of our sphere, which is 4 third P, and put in the atomic radius of argon in meters. 7, 10, the power of 3. This equals 3.8. 2, 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 30 cubic meters. This is the volume of our argon atom. So we have to use meters at this point because our volume here is given in liters. One liter is one cubic decimeter. So 22.4 liters are 0. 0 0.0224 cubic meters. So knowing this, we can now calculate the space that an argon atom occupies in a sample of neon. Because we know the number of neon atoms in this volume is equal to the Avogadro's number, we have to multiply the calculated volume of the argon atom with the Avogadro's number. So take our volume. and multiply it with the Avogadro's number. This gives us 2.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 cubic meters, which are 0 0.0023 liters. So what we have now is the space occupied by the argon atoms. In order to get the solution, we have to take the occupied volume that we calculated. So 0, 0, 0 liters and divide it by the total gas volume of one mole. So our 2.0224 uh, cubic meters. This equals 1.03 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 4, which are 0.01%. So, as you can see here, 0.01% of the total space is occupied by argon atoms. This concludes the assignment. I hope this video helped you understand the exercise.